What is going on everybody? How are we all doing and welcome back this evening to another brand new FIFA 18 play review where we're going to be taking a look at a man that defines in form. Raheem Sterling is banging in goals left, right and centre. Not only is he scoring freely, he is scoring big and important goals. Did it again last night for City against Southampton with that 96th minute winner and after that I thought to myself, you know what, we've got to review this card. Of course that came before that goal was scored but still put me in the mood to try out Sterling. If you do enjoy the review though guys, make sure to leave a big thumbs up on this video and don't forget to subscribe if this is the first time that you've visited the channel. But we're going to be kicking things off now with Sterling's basic information and he's standing at 5 foot and 7 inches tall. He's got high to medium work rates, 4 star skill move set and a 3 star weak foot. Looking at his top 5 in game stats in his base card, it's his second in form of course, he's now an 86 rated right winger. He's got 95 pace, which is absolutely electric, 87 dribbling, 79 shooting, 82 passing, 69 physical, and 51 defending. And his top five in games, 96 acceleration, not surprisingly leading the line. But ahead of that, uh, sorry, just behind that, you've got 94 balance, 93 sprint speed, 93 agility, and 90 positioning. Comes with two traits and specialities. Those are flair and speed dribbler. You can see the team that we used to be on screen now. We're still linking in that uh, Icon Henri that we got on loan recently. We've got in there Hyunmin Son, Sanchez. It's basically a full Premier League team uh, with Thierry Henry in there. And in the five games that we played with the guy, he came away with six goals and two assists, which isn't the most incredible return, but it's still not bad. I mean, your average, that is eight contributions in five games, which isn't too bad, like I say. And uh, look at his stats there as a whole. His in-game stats, it's, uh, it's exactly what you'd expect, really, from a Raheem Sterling card. He's got great pace. Dribbling is very, very strong, but he's really lacking in that strength department. It's nice to see his stamina being so high as well. It's great when you've got someone in that wide position to have them running up and down, running at defenders all game long. But yeah, like, like I said, what I'd really expect from a Raheem Sterling, Raheem Sterling card story right there. And um, as we now start to roll the clips of him in action, he's a card that... I went into with quite high expectations, but I've got to say I was a little bit underwhelmed. I think he's fantastic when he's on the ball. I mean, I should say straight away, actually, this is a very expensive card right now. He's currently going for 290,000 coins on Xbox, which is more than Play of the Month sign. I to put that in some perspective, like 50k more than Play of the Month sign, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, I was a bit underwhelmed. I think his pace, dribbling and agility, <coughs> excuse me, are all absolutely outstanding. By far the best traits that this card's got. He's so, so quick and he can be very, very elusive at times. But when he gets into that final third, it almost reminds me of what Sterling used to be known for. Something that he's put in the past list this season with his performances. And that is his lack of quality in front of goal. I think his shot power is a bit of a letdown a lot of the time. If you've got a player that's not got the greatest finishing but has got very good shot power, it can save them. But Sterling hasn't, hasn't got that, unfortunately. And he did struggle a little bit in front of goal for me, especially with low driven shots and his weak foot as well only being three star meant that he, even his right foot wasn't fantastic but his left foot was pretty pretty abysmal I mean the saving grace of the card is that when he does get in that final third when it comes to picking a pass or crossing in the ball that side of the game he's absolutely outstanding putting some really good crosses for me you'll see one actually that we do get a goal for at the end of the clips but um, if you are using this card and you're not necessarily using him for goals then it'll be absolutely superb for you like so his crossing and his passing in the final third is very very tidy but when he gets in that one-on-one -on -one position and he's looking to beat the goalkeeper scoring himself he wasn't that amazing. I mean, I think he scored the chances that you'd expect any guy to score, any card to score, but when it came to half chances, shooting from outside the box, he was not great at all. And that is something that when you're playing him in that right forward position like I was, you need to be a lot more clinical in that final third. Um, overall, I'm going to be giving him an 8.5 out of 10, like I say. I think when you look past the finishing, if you're going to be using him to set up more goals that you're going to be taking on chances with him yourself, if that makes sense, then he will be fantastic because his short passing, his through balls and his crossing were very, very good. And he has got that pace and that trickery to beat the defenders very, very easily. But sometimes he'll end up in that one-on-one -on -one position and he'll miss a chance that you expect him to score every single time. And you just think to yourself, you know, 
I could be using someone a lot cheaper that could do a much, much better job. But still a very, very fun card to use. Overall, like I say, 8.5 out of 10 is what we're going to give him. Fantastic on the ball. Great balance, great agility, great dribbling, great crossing. All that stuff is fantastic. It's just the fact that he's a little bit weak, the fact that his finishing is not great, and the actual cost of this card that's letting it down right now. Like I said, I'd expect it to drop quite a lot. I think there's a bit of hype around Sterling as a player right now. So I would expect that to drop quite a lot from the 290,000 coins, maybe to at least, at the, at the most expensive, really, 200k. You don't really want to be paying more than that for him, in my opinion. But that is going to end up the review anyway, guys. If you did enjoy it, leave a big thumbs up on the video and let me know in the comment section down below if you've had more success or your opinions on Sterling, if you have used him. But yeah, I'll catch you all next time. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Need